Yo, oh, what's up guys? I'm back with a new video. What's up y'all? I hope y'all had a good week, good break, a good time for Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm here uh, for this video just to talk about how I still socialize with 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 having a stutter. I have a whole list of things that like I would love to uh, talk about for my YouTube channel. Um, and so one of my one of my uh, you know ideas was how do I still socialize with the stutter? And I wrote a list down of things that help me socialize with the stutter or things that like I had to learn or t tips that I learned from uh, uh, from other people who who stutter. So if you have a stutter and you are having trouble socializing, it most likely stems from the fear of of uh, being judged that you have a stutter. It stems from the 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 lack of self uh, confidence in yourself. It's it stems from how you view your stutter. When I s started to push myself out of my uh, comfort zone, um, I would speak to people if that was in school or at stores or whatever but you know but you know I always tell them that you know like I have a stutter and that if I get you know s stuck on a word or a sound it's just because I have a stutter um, and but most people are are you know nice about it and 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 they are accepting of it but you are but you are, but you are always uh, uh, going to get those uh, few people that are mean or rude or will you know judge you, and that's fine. Your self confidence has to be you know bigger than them, and I would say that when you're gonna you know want to start a conversation with you know like a friend or you know like a stranger. I suggest that you first, you know, t t tell them that you have a stutter and that if you get stuck on a word or a sound, it's just because you have a stutter. And yeah, because when you just, when you just, uh, you know, go up to like a person and you start stuttering and, you know, getting s stuck on a sound or word, the person doesn't know how to react the person might not know that you have a stutter so they might have you know like a weird look on their face or they might laugh or they might judge and it's and it's and and it is just because they they you know never had an experience with the person who stuttered Um, my second tip is that your thoughts are c c c c c c crucial. Um, your thoughts and what uh, you believe will turn into reality. So if you think of yourself and your stutter as like a bad thing and you are ashamed of it or whatever, your life will be much more harder because that's how you view yourself and your stutter and that's what you will attract but the more you work on yourself and the more you work on your stutter and your self-confidence and all that life will get easier and easier and you will be able to speak to whoever you want and I have also you know noticed that when I tell people my story like if it's 
about my stuttering and how like I want to start like a YouTube channel or whatever um you know some people find it uh you know inspiring and whatever you are uh going through if it's a speech impediment you know like me or you know depression or maybe if it's you know like a disability your story will always inspire at least one person and i would suggest just to be more open about your stutter and just share that you know that you know you have a stutter because you know if you had it from when you were born or you had some type of head injury or something so that's my uh, second tip is to is to be more self-confident in yourself and your stutter and there are you know many ways to you know do that um like for me i i work on myself i work on my goals my interests all that like i have like a few goals that i'm you know uh you know currently working towards and you know one of them is my youtube uh one of them is um i'm i am trying to uh learn the piano i want to get more clothes and be more i guess like a little bit more uh you know s stylish and those are all you know goals that you can be you know working towards and that will help with your self-confidence that will help with your self-worth and that will help your you know it helped you know my stutter it helped um my m my self-esteem the third thing is to have a support system uh, you know, if it's that, so if that's like a friend of yours, or if that's like your family, or your parents, or whoever, have a good support system where you could just, I guess, vent maybe, or just tell what is on your mind because all those, you know, uh, you know, bottled up, uh, you know, emotions and thoughts or whatever, that is going uh, uh, to affect your stutter. And that is gonna that is gonna take a toll on how well you can express yourself. I can tell you guys one of my uh, one of my uh, um, past experiences that I just had um, maybe like a few days ago. I went to this party, and you know, like all of my friends from high school were there, and there were some people from college there too and when i first started to you know go to parties i was self-conscious i was you know very shy i was not you know confident in my stutter um but i was you know willing to put myself out of my comfort zone and i tried it and the first time or the first you know a few times that i went to a party i had a bunch of you know bad experiences a bunch of bad ones but that is part of the process that is part of becoming who you want to become you have to be you know willing to put yourself out of your comfort zone to uh to grow as a person and so the more and more parties I you know went to, the the more and more self uh, confident I became in terms of like just me and in terms of my stutter. So change can be very very hard and uh, very difficult, especially if you have a stutter like me. And you just have to be willing to ch change your habits and willing to change your views and your, you know, mindset on 
your stutter, your speech impediment, or if there's, you know, something that you are, you know, like ashamed of. And, and there are going to be bad experiences. There are, there are, you know, going to be people who make fun of your stutter or judge you for your stutter. But that is part of the process. And you just have to heal from it. And it's okay to have, you know, bad thoughts. It's okay to have, uh, you know, negative thoughts. Um, it is how you deal with them is the issue. How you, uh, how you deal with your self-esteem or your thoughts or whatever. You can work on them in a constructive way or you can work on them in a, a destructive way. And when you choose a c constructive way, it is going to be hard. But the end goal is going to be is going to is going to be a lot better. And ch change is going to be very hard at times. Also, how I socialize still with the stutter is that you have to, you know, realize that people are self-conscious about something. Everybody is self-conscious about themselves. And it's okay to work on yourself. Like, there's going to be people who will, you know, judge you that you are working on your stutter and working on your speech impediment and working on your goals there will be people who will be mean to you but they are insecure too and they're not gonna work on their you know insecurities and that's you know what i'm saying that's not you know uh you know that's not on you you know uh you know that's on them and so when you're like in the class or you know, whatever, and you start to socialize with the stutter, some people are going to accept you and some people, you know, might not. But the people who do accept you, just know that they will be, you know, real. And those, and, you know, those are your people. One of the qu quotes that I always keep in my head is that ch ch trying is uh, better than uh, giving up. Whenever there's a time that I'm too shy or too, you know, scared to speak about my stutter or to start a conversation with somebody, this, this quote always pops up in my head where The real loser is the one that is too scared to uh to uh to even try. And that thought, that quote just keeps uh popping up in my head. And but that has helped me a lot though. Um because if you do have a bad experience where the person does laugh or makes a face like that or something that is part of the process that is actually a a good sign that is, that just shows that you are willing to be yourself in front of people who will judge you also the support system that you will have if it's your uh friends or your family that will help you too because you can talk about what you felt in that you know bad experience with your with your you know your family or your friends whoever is you know the closest t t t t t to you um most of the time other people's thoughts and opinions are more distractive than informative 
So if somebody says, I don't like the way you speak, or I don't like your stutter, or, you know, that shirt looks, you know, dumb on you or weird, that's okay. As long as you are, as long as you are expressing your tr true self and... They are just projecting their views onto you. Real self-confidence comes from being yourself in the face of judgment. And it's okay to be self-conscious. But how you, you know, go about it is the problem. There are some people, oh my God, even in school, even like the kids who are, you know, quote unquote, you know, like the cool kids or whatever, they are, you know, insecure too, but that's not the issue. But, you know, but, you know, like a lot of them, they kind of look down on people, even though they, you know, themselves are, you know, insecure. And I'm just like, that doesn't really make any sense because we are all, you know, insecure and you are going to judge, you know, this person about like, you know, their clothes or something. If a cool kid or something is like self-conscious about their clothes or their, you know, body image or whatever. And then, you know, like, I'm just like, that doesn't make any sense. Like Y'all two have the same insecurity. So... I would say to try and do not give up. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. You can start small. You can start by make by making you know small talk with like a student or like a stranger or something. You don't have to make you know like a big leap. Like for example, like you know like you know like how I did when I first went to that party. That was like a that was like a huge leap for me and that led to you know like a great amount of uh learning and self gr self uh growth but the change like the process was ugly it was bad like i had so many you know negative thoughts and you know and you know emotions but that is part of change and that's w what i mean by ch change can be hard at times nobody likes to change you uh you know uh you know most people want to stay in their comfort zone but they're too afraid to uh, to step out of it and like a lot of people are very self insecure about themselves also what has helped me is if I visualize something, if I listen to a song that, you know, gets me hyped up and I'm in such a happy mood and just such like a high, you know, vibrational state and I visualize, you know, what I want in the future, if it's me becoming more, you know, like authentic, more self-confident or being more you know social um that helps a lot too i just visualize it when i'm in a very like happy hyper state and that f feeling is so strong that i could recognize that feeling and then jump into that feeling and that will attract people who, like, you know, you want to talk to. Like, if it's, like, a if it's like a friend that you haven't seen, like, in a long time. If it's, like, a person that you think is, like, you know, cute or something. <clears throat> and, you know, a 10 times out of 10, if you are in a situation that you are not uh, comfortable in, it is just you versus the negative thoughts so yeah i'm still working on a social on a socializing with the stutter but 
I have gotten so much uh, better. Um, now I'm able to like, you know, go to parties and talk to my friends, talk to a person that like I might find, you know, cute or something. Um, I'm more confident in school, in class or whatever. And that just all comes from a ch change. And that all comes from stepping out of your comfort zone. And it's okay to be not accepted by everybody. As long as you are working on your goals and your, as long as you are working on your goals and ambitions and your stutter, your, your, your speech impediment, you will be fine.